Hey guys, so I know I haven't made a video in a really long time. <laughs> I tend to do this towards the end of my pregnancies. So I don't, I stop making videos because I get too, too much is going on. Um, but since my last video, quite a few things have changed, obviously. It's been quite a while, I believe almost 10 weeks or something like that. Um, I'm 34 weeks and 3 days. Something like that. Um, 34 weeks, let's just say. Um, hmm. Samantha wants to say hi. Um, we had our vacation back home. We were there for three weeks. Um, flying wasn't too bad. It was a four hour flight, so it's fairly quick. Um, I mean, I found for me the most, the hardest part was just dealing with the kids. I could, you know, get up every once in a while and we were really close to the bathroom, so that wasn't that bad. Um, careful, please. Um, we had two weddings that we went to. Um, and the second one that we went to, um, my husband was the best man, so I was kind of during the ceremony and the reception by myself with the three kids, and it was really, really stressful, and I'm never doing that again. It was horrible. The next time he's in a wedding, I'm just not going to go because that was too much. Um, what else? We had a nice time at the cottage. We were able to relax and take it easy, you know, um... I don't know if it's because it's more humid where we were, but I had a lot of swelling in my feet pretty much the whole time we were on vacation. Um, and I was taking it easy, like I wasn't on my feet all the time. So I think it was just because the humidity, there was, you know, I was just retaining more water while I was there. Um, what else? Um, we came back home a couple days ago. And uh, my husband, he is gone on his fives course now, so um, I'm by myself for this baby, and he won't be back until she's about a month old. Um, but lucky for me, my mother-in-law is here, and she's helping me out, so that's nice. I got um, friends of ours are going to watch the kids when I go into labor, and then Nana will be able to come with me to the hospital. Um, so that's nice, because I, I mean, I, I don't want to do this alone, obviously. I mean, I've done it three times already, but it's not, you know, I still don't want to be alone. Um, what else? My sister did my hair. I love my hair. Did Grandma do this? No, Auntie Kimberly. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I got my hair done. Um, I was supposed to get a cut, but we didn't get around to it, so I just got, um, Ooh, can we do my fingers? color done. Can we do the fingers? No, Aunt Carrie didn't do my fingers. I did my fingers. Um, what else? Okay, symptoms. My God, I am ready to be done. <laughs> I can't do my fingers. No. Um, I can't, I can't, I can't do it anymore. I'm so sore all the time. Um, my pelvic girdle pain or whatever you want to call it, pubic symphysis, whatever. All I know is it's really, really, really bad at nighttime. When I get up, I can hear my pelvis popping and grinding when I'm walking and I'm almost crying getting out of bed because it hurts so bad. Um, it's really no fun at all. I'm I'm so over it. I, I can't wait to not be pregnant anymore. Why are you pregnant? Um, yeah, so that's a pain, obviously. Um, she's sitting super, 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 super low, it feels like. Um, when I'm checking my cervix at nighttime, I can feel her head right there. And it's gotten to the point now, too, the last couple of weeks, I haven't, I actually can't reach my cervix. It changed positions on me or something. Um. I think your hair. Thank you because I can't reach it anymore and every she's so low, everything's so cramped in there that I can't even really tell what I'm feeling. Um, but last night, I, if, if it was what I was feeling, I'm pretty sure my cervix is like super, super soft, super short, and I can feel, like it feels like there's barely anything between me and her head. If it, if it was what I was feeling, I believe it was the sack, to be honest. Um, and she's so low that I didn't even feel any 
bulging, like there was okay. nothing in between that layer and her head. It was literally like this. If that's what I was feeling. Like I said, it's kind of hard to tell now at this point because she's so low and everything's so... I don't know how to explain it. Everything's so squished in there. <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. That's on me. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I'm not really sure if I'm dilated or not. He, won't, My doctor hasn't checked me. Um, not sure if I mentioned in my last video, but I did pass the gestational diabetes test. Uh, my last appointment yesterday, he did the group B swab, which I will find out the results from that at my next appointment, which is in two weeks. Um, Are the booger? Where is the mommy? Oh, I don't know. Um, Are the booger? I think that's it. I started taking EPO. I know it's kind of early, but um, with my last two, sex was always what put me into labor, and my husband's not here this time for that, so I'm starting EPO early because what I can't it? take it anymore. What is it? I mean, all it does is soften things, so I mean, if she's not ready to come, she's not going to come anyways. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to start taking the EPO nightly and I'm going to pick up some raspberry leaf tea and start doing that also. Um, I think that's it. I mean, I can't really think of anything. Yeah, I'm just in a lot of pain and I get contractions a lot and very easily I get contractions. Um, I mean, I can just go up the stairs and come back down and that my stomach is hard as a rock. So it's hard for me to get stuff done around the house. Um, you know, thank God Nana's here to help me out because I don't know how I would do it with Rob gone and me by myself. Um, my oldest daughter started school this week, started kindergarten, which is so nice for me. Everybody thought I was going to be one of these moms who was going to cry and be upset because their you know, little baby's gone to school, which I am. I'm not sad. I'm proud of her. I had like a moment of... I wouldn't say I was about to cry, but, you know, a moment of like, oh, I'm so proud of her, you know. Um, but she loves it, and I have to say, honestly, one less kid in my house is so much nicer. It's so quiet, and, um, you know, <laughs> there's no fighting anymore. So, yeah, I mean, I've been enjoying it, and she seems to be having fun so far, so. Um... Yeah, that's it, I guess. Um, I'll do a belly shot. And that'll be it. I'll try to do another video next week sometime. So. Oh, sorry. Okay, watch out, Sam. You gotta get off me, okay? Can you push over here for a minute? Thank you. I'm not taking a picture, so don't push the button. Okay. Here's the belly. Don't push the button, please. I'm not. For 34 weeks and I don't know, a couple days. Samantha, there's a glare here. Here, push over, please. There we go. 34 weeks and I don't know, a couple days. She's getting big. Oh, and I feel so much pressure. <laughs> Toes. Toes. Okay. And I don't think I have any new stretch marks yet. I might be starting to get a couple. Not really sure. Maybe over here. I don't know. Whatever. I don't care about stretch marks anymore. So, that's it. Take care, guys, um, and stay tuned for <laughs> my next video um, next week. Bye.